<laughs> no, do it. Put it away. That's hysterical. Oh, after all that. I love these little beginnings. It's okay. All right, here we go. We're gonna slate. We're gonna call check. It. Check. We're gonna take a peek. I I forgot my blue hats. This is hysterical. Here we go. No, it's fun. We're late. I rambled too much. I'm gonna not talk as much. Ah, right. There, that's where this episode starts. Okay. <laughs> Are you satisfied? Yeah, I guess. I can't see that far, so. <laughs> what normally? All right, I'm gonna slate. Two and the three. <laughs> oh no, not again. This guy is so lame. Oh, that always gets me. Sorry, we deserve that last lame clap. All right, we're, we're like 500 points in the oh, hole. Cow. Where are we, Terry oh Evans? Yeah, so we are in Waikuku actually in Hawaii. Uh, 21 shows so far. This is the 21st show. Of? Yapping with Terry and Dave. Episode 21. Yeah. Wow. So if if there is somebody out there that has actually watched all of them, I want to give wow. you a gift certificate for something. Oh, I could do that too. So, yeah. if... How would they contact us? They could uh, con go to uh, your website. You can comment right under my the oh, YouTube video. Oh, make a comment. If you make a comment regarding this episode... We will. Uh, you have to have seen all of them. Oh well, how will we know? They'll have. Maybe we have to have some. We have three random questions. Yeah. So we'll get a list of people who uh, claim that they've watched them. We just made them. a shitload of, uh, of homework. <laughs> this has become like, sounds like fun, a though. burden. I know. It sounds like a lot of fun. If only... So we'll have show trivia. Um, That's a great idea. Can, so if people answer right, the I'll trivia you correctly, something. you win something. We'll give you something really cool. We should get that chip sponsor. Oh, and we and can give away chips. Well, and we both have the ability to give us some form of coupon, but you'd have to live here to use it or visit. But we could chips, also... Chips, you could send those chips. They're lightweight. But no, but we should give something else, too. We could give the, just the chips. Is that what you're offering? Uh, you would have to package the chips. No, I think they should get something from Hawaii. We're like... <laughs> They are for the from chips. Hawaii. Those are those chips from Hawaii. They're not made in Hawaii. Are you serious? No, I don't think so. They should be. We should claim it. We don't have any today. The show you is like Hawaii You have to watch style. last week's episode. If you also mention the chips from last week's episode, then... I will personally send you a box of them. <laughs> oh, ooh, a box. Well, you know, a bag in a box because you'd have to put it in a box so they don't get crunched. Oh, my God. Right. Well, that's a lot. But let's see what happens. Also, come to our, uh, you know, our iTunes, uh, and subscribe to us through iTunes. That's right. I'm losing that point. I know, you're kind of going with the flow, you know, that's like, right. Like, that's a really Thank you for watching. And, and actually, uh, if you could give us a review, if anybody <laughs> takes a sure moment. sure we want to open I don't that care door. What, be honest. <laughs> Terry can take it. She, we just I have, only except the approved ones so <laughs> but the reviews will actually help us well, I think we need a campaign to get us in the new and you know uh, what's hot part of iTunes and that's going to take a little uh, work which might actually take us into our tech talk yeah let's go to tech talk that's Here we a come. great one wait yeah that's a, so um, this week's tech talk yeah that takes us right there talking about reviews and subscribing and, and being in iTunes and um, I've been researching, like, how do I find out how many people have subscribed to us through iTunes? That's right. It's actually kind of, it's hard to find out. You, Which is interesting. You can um, uh, submit your oh. podcast to other podcast distributors, and they will kind of measure your traffic. But iTunes itself doesn't necessarily show even and, though it has a subscribe button well and they could certainly give you sure, statistics somewhere. but maybe somebody knows this and I haven't found it but that's one of the things I'm struggling with is to figure out how many people have actually subscribed to us through iTunes maybe there's a fact which also brought me to like how do you get on the front page of iTunes uh, podcast that scrolling list of the you know most the new ones like were we ever listed in the new we were new 
so we get listed and there's tricks to getting into new and we fulfilled those tricks but we've never appeared in new so i'm trying to figure out when will they put we've done 21 episodes i think the Woo-hoo! more direct um searches that where people actually put in yapping podcast that that definitely drives your podcast to the closer to the front page i think well that's part of the google find but youtube uh, I mean, itunes, and iTunes, iTunes has its own sort of search when i go to world. itunes i actually put in yapping podcast and we come right up it's easy um you oh i'm sorry you cr- um could i have some more wine <sighs> don't cur- don't I'm I'm saying that that the way that we get to the their front page is not just you typing yapping, but by people reviewing us. And, and, oh, and, I see. And us starting to have a, a, a subscribership that warrants being amongst the million podcasts out yeah. there, especially in the comedy sector. So thinking of stats, I actually went onto my YouTube channel. I actually made myself a chart today and there are all these specific things I want to measure and I thought I want to measure them every day. I use Square for my uh, marketplace, for my store and it's really easy. It's on, they sign on the iPad. Where are you going to find that? Um, Terry Edmonds and I have my own store and anyway, um, the point of that was I have stats and now I'm looking at my statistics. And it's very interesting, it's very positive, it's very motivating. They're all moving in positive directions, you know. And um, so I can get those stats from YouTube pretty easily. I can get and it, just a quick picture, how much revenue I've earned. Knowing how those many stats motivates you. It does. Yeah. My That's, goal is a million viewers. Right. I'm at 36,000 views. Um, oh, I actually just remembered a pop culture thing. What? But I, but this is actually kind of moving into this biz thing. Knowing your statistics, knowing your That's finances, right. knowing your business. But I remembered my pop culture thing that slowly slips away. No. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, well, so anyway. Um, so knowing your stats. That kind of goes into business, right? Sure. Do you have a business one? Oh, we do. It's, it's, um, and there's a lot of rain outside yeah, making... Ah! Making noise. Yeah, it's raining. So you have the, the extra wheels. Yeah, and some tumultuous weather. It's kind of been really breezy. You can't see it, but the plants are blowing around and stuff while we're here talking. Uh, and hopefully the microphones isolating our voices are, we are very good. <laughs> I don't know, I was like singing into them. So uh, we were in biz. We were in biz, and we were talking about having big projects come your way, oh, and how oh, important and, that and, is. And actually, statistics earlier, and knowing, knowing, knowing your numbers, what, what you actually have. You can actually drive your ship. Being a, a, an artist my whole working life, uh, more or less, I'm, and I've never paid a lot of good attention to like what my numbers really are, just like most people like to know. Like my parents never provide, like, my, here is how you manage money. Right, you yeah. Know? Here's how you don't get kicked in the ass with yeah. the lesson, you know. Not here's That's your right. money and didn't come with the, you know, with the family history. Like some families are born with, this is how it works, you know. And this is what you, but we never got that. So I have only recently been, in the last like year and a half, two years, been tackling money and as an artist and as you know uh, he's had a better education in accounting than i did my first four years of college well that are you complimenting yourself because you tutored me for the longest time oh well i am good at what i do but uh... we're bookkeeping terry bookkeeping <laughs> So this is business. Oh, wait. I told you diversification, baby. <laughs> oh, sorry, microphone. Oh, awesome. I am a business. Student. So anyway, I just really kind of got this these this letter from um, yeah, uh, uh, the, right. the IRS that just says we're on track. Um, Good job. With, with the work I've been doing, That's which right. you know isn't just submitting some papers. No. It's been a, a, a lot of work. It was arduous. It's fixing things. Mm-hmm. I'm in the process of fixing But bookkeeping is like a puzzle. It's like she repairs. She repairs a puzzle. You're putting parts together and how does this fit? And then you kind of be like, oh, hey, I found that thing. 
But it's you also know? like law or some other thing. It has a lingo that is not intuitive. You don't understand it by uh, looking at it. You don't, even no matter how, like, I understand spreadsheets, but I don't always, I don't understand, until now, I don't really fully understand the Schedule C and all that mm. stuff. But now, I'm really getting, and we've gone through a lot of, you know, process to, to you know, be able to manage the empire. <laughs> the podcast empire. We make nothing of this. Please help <laughs> us. You know, they say you're as prosperous as you think, and I'm a prosperous in friendship. I'm prosperous in art. I am prosperous in time. I am... <laughs> no, that's for... Uh, anyway, so... I, I was disrupting the bubble. Yeah. That's what I do. I know, that's what you do. You always do it to me. So anyway, Dave, what if we go on to a happy place? I disrupt everybody's bubble. A happy place. That would be... Yes. It's so pretty. It is. A happy place that's pretty. So in well. my happy place, mm. I am interviewing a gal next in the next couple weeks. She's this young gal who uh, won Miss Maui Teen. Oh. 2016, oh. and she is bright and smart and beautiful. She is positive. She's got so much potential. So, what a great example! And I'm an interviewer for my. You're sponsoring show. her. I am. I am. She's actually. Um, she's uh, running, uh, doing some kind of fundraiser program. I don't remember the name. But for her, her platform happens to be about teenage suicide. And I thought that was a really touching subject because, as she told me, in the last five years, Hawaii used to be number one in teenage suicide in the country. And we have now let go of that state, but we're still up in the top ten. So they're depressed teenagers. Something is happening here. What is that? Where they have not found a happy place. That's why you want to talk about it during the happy, happy place. Happy place. Mm. Then, yeah. But finding the happy place. Because there are things that, that can be done. I mean, well, if you know some, some tools, some skills, you... I wonder, the, I, mean, I suppose the question, uh, you know, the thing to find the thread would be, like, what is the common thread amongst them? Ah, uh, that's a good one. That's what, you know, that's what, I guess I didn't get to articulate. I know, wonder what? if it's, I wonder what it is. I'd like to know that. It'd be, I'm sure there's, you know, multiple, but there must be common threads that mm-hmm. that lead to a, a concentration. I'm going to say love for sure. Um, people die, you know, people, I think people get crazy over heartache. Oh, oh, I yeah. So you think that people's hearts get broken and they they commit suicide because yeah, their they hearts just, they're broken so, as a prevalent yeah. They're issue. so so in so much pain. Wow. Well, I think that just mm. loss, grieving mm. a I, loss. Yeah, that's. A, I mean, it's amazing how painful that is, losing or not being with somebody. How that thing uh, it affects one. I lost a cat and a boyfriend pretty much at the same window, and it was rough. Mm-hmm. I called this guy. I was like, man, you got to come hang out, which is part of the thing about happy place. There's some things you can do to avoid. They're sure. And I think some of those things are having close friends that really care about you. I think um, that, yeah, I mean... There's some other things. It would be uh, hopefully somebody has somebody to come. You have to believe you're important. You have to tell yourself that you you matter. You matter. I matter. I, I think that you know. Yeah. I, um, yes. I, there's no. I'm not even questioning that. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to find this other. What are you trying to find? Terminology, I suppose. Trying to understand it. Mm-hmm. Like what is the trigger that untriggers. You, know, people. you have to watch your body state if you're, you know, eating food that's not 
making you happy and you're feeling more sad and more depressed and you're drinking and you're down and you're blah, blah, blah. Here's, here's how I would, here, yes, I think that multiple things cause people to go in waves and, and, and into, uh, you have good times and bad times and that yeah. those, and for some people those, those dynamics are pretty wide, you know, like the swing of the pendulum right. is very wide and that this widest point it, it's very difficult mm -hmm. and um you have an idea like how you're going what you're doing or something yeah let's go into relationships put, to put it right on you yeah like that huh? yeah. yeah so so wrestling with at least the broken heart well it's a perfect segue from happy place into relationships right and this topic in happy place you know, it's really about your mindset. I can see why they, why some of the gurus advise that you really watch your mind because that having, I keep saying it's so important to have a network, have your own woven cloth of life in your world and it makes surviving any. Oh, <laughs> Is that how it sounds listening to me like, Oh, did you hear something? Because <laughs> it was... I, you know, uh, it's true. You find, you gotta, it's true. It helps to find people that um, uh, allow you to be yourself. Well, and, 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 and not just friends, but you're prosperous in other things. You're prosperous in self-worth. You're prosperous in time. time. Not, only, not everybody feels all of that. You, you, it's up to you to create it for yourself. Make a priority, give it to yourself. If we keep looking for it in other people, then we're, we're searching for it. Whereas it's in you, you're, you, you know, you're supposed to have it all here. So if I was, if I was under 21 or 18, yeah. not feeling ultimately independent, which even at my age, I still don't feel ultimately independent. But, um, uh, but I know that I can take care of myself. So, that's okay. so but to have this constraint on you um, that you don't know what you, you don't perceive yourself as having an option. Mm -hmm. Right, I understand. And that there's always an option. You know that there's always you can always. The fact is, is that uh, you're not the only one who's ever. Uh, uh, had to move on. Right. Oh, that's good. You know, I've had. And it feels very prickly. It's I've, like I've oh, had to move God. on. I've had to move on. You yeah. know, like really let go of people. And um, I think that there's something. Uh, maybe that's the independence factor I just said. Like I don't always feel even in my zone. But the one thing I know is that I I actually. Uh, can release. Mm. I can allow others to have their life. How do you do that? Physically and mentally. I mean, that's a tough one. So. Well, number first and foremost, where the trigger finally hit me and was in a breakup that was a deep and first great deep love that changed my life, made me a better person. But the breakup murdered me. Oh. And. Um, it's strange to say that in a, in a suicide example. but but and speaking of happy place is this is on God's honest we were sitting outside of a little fire pit it's at a friend's house same thing and I uh, sitting on a log and I realized I want what that the reason I'm so attached is the thing I have about this person is that I actually want them to be happy and recognizing that whatever choice they're trying to make right now, right. if it didn't include me, had something to do with me not making them happy or not being enough for them, and that's actually okay because if I want them to be happy, he, he needed to go and pursue what made him happy. If what I wanted was for you to be happy, and yes, I wanted that to be with me, but it's not. Exactly. But it's still, the core of what I want yes. is for you to be happy, well, then, then I release you to your journey, and I and I and and 
who knows if that ever crosses again, and it had crossed thanks to Facebook and the internet, but I had to also then again make a choice. Am I going to try and test this, or am I going to be already moved on? Right. I'm already moved on, right. was the obvious. So there's this thing about... Otherwise you would have been locked into the grip of something that was never going to come to fruition. From whenever, and even when you and I have argued in our relationship, eventually we have to move on from the, the thing and recognize something greater than our issue, you know, the thing that hurt each other or whatever. Right. You know, like we had to move on from... And we're getting better about communicating. We just had a, a total breakthrough in green room today. My green room is to have fun and get to know each other after the week or bookkeeping and mm -hmm. talk about our stuff. Yeah. But not to get ready. Like, right. Oh. So I've been, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, yeah. anyway, it was, it was interesting because I finally tried hearing somebody. Hey, wait. And, oh, okay. Yeah, that's relationship. Good. Yeah. And, and, and I was able to kind of hear it through the conversation and he was able to kind of deliver it where I could hear it. And so I was able to kind of narrow down his two issues, and I didn't wouldn't have guessed unless we got there. And he was so it was awesome. And I so I really vote for trying to hear somebody just try to repeat what they say because if you repeat what they say, you definitely repeat what they say. The actual words they say. The actual words. But you the, so that takes us into this uh, the listening versus when hearing. When he talking about. Listening versus hearing, like that was what I thought. I right. think, and um, and like I stopped uh, hearing you just for a moment there. Right, I had to shut up. You'll see. I had to like go. Oh, you don't got a lot of talk. Let's watch it. Let's try what other samples of things you so, could do. Right, but uh, yeah, the listening versus hearing, like just yeah. taking in. Super helpful. The other person's Super words. Super helpful. Yeah. Um, yeah. And maybe that's a big part of. You know, yeah, that's a huge part of relationships is just yeah. allowing the other person's definitely, words. Definitely, definitely. I'm exhausted. Gosh, it was fun though. What I had a fun that, week. I did a lot of it. a lot of soul, a lot of really great study on YouTube. There's so much information out there. You know, it's really helpful and it's free, so it's great. And I'm still and all about. Out there. I'm still all about the. Um, you are um, not so smart. That's uh, a great I show. I like um, yes, that little. <laughs> um, there was other topics. We take a moment. I'm getting new glasses. I can't right. wait to see them. Okay. They're so cute. They're just, you know, I went for the budget ones and they were super cute. Pile of them, and, you know. So I'll be wearing them again in the show. Mm -hmm. I would have, I would have wore them tonight because they actually went with my outfit. So imagine, so take a magic marker. <laughs> And color on your monitors, <laughs> uh, little round spectacles <laughs> on Terry. Uh, anyway, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, definitely subscribe. Uh, we're going to start pulling names from the subscribers list. And and you could win a prize. Yeah, you could win a prize. And you uh, might regret it. Um, and if you're on iTunes, then please give us a review, even if it's like, uh, 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 that was okay, or I survived, yeah. Terry and Dave, you could do that. Just give I like us, that. That's just give good. us a I survived Terry and Dave <laughs> review, That's and we'll see how many of those. Sure. Like you, I survived can, Terry and Dave. You can totally like write that, God, you know, you spent 20 minutes listening to us, so take another minute to write I survived Terry and Dave. Because iTunes will like that, and maybe we'll be in the front, and maybe... Someday. We'll report on it. Um, I'm talking to the camera, but the microphone's over here. Okay, so are we done? Um, uh, uh, 